Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And I've got some incredible announcements to tell you about this week. AWS AppSync is now in general availability. AWS introduces a new service called Rhoda. There's a new service called AWS Blockchain Templates. The Security Specialty Exam is now in general availability. AWS have released four free training courses and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. AWS AppSync is now in general availability. And for those who don't know, AppSync allows you to provide the ability to work offline for your data-driven web and mobile applications. It supports iOS, Android, JavaScript, and React Native applications, and it's built using GraphQL. So it can also integrate with existing AWS services like DynamoDB, Elasticsearch, and Lambda. And it's great for offline capability for games, chat applications, news articles, um, and those kind of applications to enable your users to still get access to the data when they're offline. AWS introduces a new service called Rhoda. So what is Rhoda? Well, Rhoda is the registry of open data on AWS, and it's an open data repository, which makes it really easy to find publicly available data sets using AWS. And you can search for common types of data, such as genomic, satellite imagery, and transportation data. And you can analyze that data and build services on top of it within your AWS environment. So for example, using Athena, Elastic MapReduce, and Lambda. And the most exciting thing is that anyone can add their own data sets into the repository so that they can then be accessed and analyzed using AWS. AWS has launched a new service called AWS Blockchain Templates. So these templates will enable you to launch an Ethereum or Hyperledger fabric network on a set of Docker images running within your AWS environment. And this can either be within the Elastic Container Service or running on an EC2 instance. So you get access to a dashboard with all of your ETH stats, and there's also an Explorer dashboard so you can see all the data for your most recent blocks. And this is a really easy way to get started uh, with blockchain and cryptocurrency all within AWS. The security specialty exam is now in general availability, and the, the specialty certs are really to validate advanced skills in specific technical areas. So big congratulations to anyone who already passed the beta exam, uh, but if you didn't pass or if you're looking to take that security specialty exam, it's available for you to book it right now. AWS have released four free digital training courses covering some of the new technologies that have been released over the past few weeks. So these are introductory courses to things like Amazon Certificate Manager, Private Certificate Authority, AWS Secrets Manager, as well as the machine learning technologies, Amazon Translate and Amazon Transcribe. So these are all just 15 minutes long and perfect to view in your lunch hour. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answers this week were of course C, D and F. And a lot of you got it right, but the person with the best explanation was Amelia Huff-Ross. And Amelia is the deputy CTO working at Blue Cross Blue Shield in South Carolina, USA. So congratulations, Amelia. We're gonna be sending you a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card in the post. And you are also going to be in the draw to win a free ticket to join us at reInvent 2018. Now, this week's question is now live on our Facebook page. Please see the link below. And that's all from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time.